I remember everybody complaining bitterly about the shortage of sandbags. There was all sorts of people out in the village helping each other to try and alter the course of rivers that had appeared. Oh, and of course we had to go to the pub and we were almost swimming there. Well, you don't realise at the time what the devastation is going to be at the end. You just think, well, oh, yeah, it's raining. And then the next day, when you wake up and you actually realise what's gone on and the force of it, it's, wow, gosh, that is quite something. Flooding's hot topic in the village at the moment. We've got the, the bridge that's uh, disappeared. That's had a, a knock-on effect of causing chaos around the village. It made the village more of a cul-de-sac. It makes you realise how strong the environment is and that we need to sit up and take notice. And it, it's perhaps been this last flood that um, will perhaps resonate with people a bit more to take more positive action. We need to sit up and take notice. 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 So this was my blue fabric that I had in the, in the attic. I'm just very fortunate that it was about six metres long because then I had the idea that what a river, you know, Sari is the best thing to, to make. Then I needed to dress it up a bit and make it uh, glittery, which I haven't finished yet. I need to practice walking in it because it's a little bit long and it's a bit flappy around my feet and if I trip up, it would just be awful. As a teenager, when we were first starting to talk about climate change, it was the icebergs are melting, the oceans are filling up and uh, the rivers are filling up and the land masses are going to be flooded. So my idea is based along that. And so I've created an outfit uh, which evolves. Go up and down the catwalk, dressed in this uh, the white snowy looking cape and uh, the blue dress will show at the bottom. This was some nice shiny yellow. And we should take the cape off. The reverse is yellow, it's the sun, so I swirl it round. And then I'm going to take the sari off it all falls on the floor so it looks like a, a river forming, it's the ice cap melting. And I'm somehow going to get myself underneath it and then just ram pull it all back in like that. <laughs> if it all comes together I'm going to have to practice. And that's it. Oh hello, perfect timing. Hello. Right. Will you help me please? I'll tell you. What do I have to do? You just pick that up floor there. And then I'm going to this one in here and then there should be a pleaty bit that's it well done can you see where that join is there yeah. and that goes up over my shoulder over this uh, left shoulder that's it and hang ah that's better right can yeah. you imagine it turn becoming a river mm -hmm. yes yeah so i've got this idea that i'm going to go down the catwalk looking like an iceberg and then sunshine and then I've got to work out a way of letting it fall to the floor, see, like this, and walk back up the catwalk. It makes you realise how strong the environment is and that we need to sit up and take notice. You don't tend to get people to talk about climate change in their day-to-day -day conversation. Can't say that I've heard anybody talk about what they might do more of or less of.
little bit anxious, <laughs> nervous, but I'm going to have a practice before I get out there. Actually, doing this whole makeup business was nerve-wracking in itself, given that I don't usually wear any makeup. So I'm experimenting. You're contributing to the village activities, and that's what everyone loves about the village. It's not that I'm trying to get some personal sort of stardom, it's just knowing that you're part of a bigger picture. We need to sit up and take notice. 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 My first awareness of climate change was as a teenager being told that the earth was getting warmer, oceans would rise and lands would flood. That has certainly been happening around here recently. Sorry, that's not in the introduction. My outfit has been designed to tell this story. Where have you been, my little son? Where have you been, my darling girl? For some of the children, if it, if it helped them to have a better picture in their minds because they saw it in uh, something in practice put into an art form, they can relate to it. So yes, if something good comes out of it, that's a bonus. Oh, yeah. It, I don't smile though. I go out and just dead serious and I don't dare look at anybody. Um, everyone's done brilliantly. It's some really fabulous pieces of, uh, you know, proper fashion going on. So yeah, it's good. Yeah, good. Fingers crossed, it'll inspire some, some of the younger ones, or even some of the older you know, grown-ups. <laughs>